Hey guys, back in last two months around 23rd May, I actually made a video on React Telephone Input Picker. So what it essentially does is I have really opened this in the second tab. Uh, actually I have really cloned up uh, from my GitHub repo. So what actually it does is it has a select option of uh, and the list of all the country code itself. So if you really choose like uh, any one of them, let's say this one and type out 8, 4, 5, 6, 0, 0, 0, that is essentially combines the country code uh, like ISD country code and the input value itself. So what we are going to do as per the thumbnail itself, you might have been aware, uh, we are going to convert existential uh, normal React app into just like this Twitter progressive web application. So what we're going to do is let's, if we try out to install this one, the Twitter gets its own standalone browser itself. And if we just close this downwards, let me just close this uh, VS code as well. You can see it has its own desktop icon as well. So similarly is the case with Android as well. You, as you can see on the screen, it shows up the banner itself, whether you want to install it or not. And after installing it on your app menu itself, you get a really nice icon, just like in any native app, uh, whether you want to use it or not. Being said that, let's come back to our own application itself. Let me just uh, go back up right here. Let me just open it re again. So, and let me uninstall this one. So basically there are essentially few requirements to build an PWA itself. It really requires an HTTPS connection when you just kind of uh, deploy your React app onto the server itself. Now why service worker are essentially really powerful tool. It can really do anything when it's offline or online. So it requires a pretty robust and secure connection. That's why it kind of mandates to use the HTTPS. Second, it requires manifest.json file. And third, as usually, it requires the service worker itself. When you come back to the point of the VS Code itself, this is our own uh, project structure, nothing much fancier. Our work will be really involved in just these four of the components as well. So this is our own service worker file. It is already provided by React. Uh, there are a bunch of steps that we need to do. It's pretty much easy. So first of all, what we really need to do is uh, we will need to, as per this diagram, we will need this as a favicon icon and, and various font size as well. So if you kind of go up right here, we will really need a phone image icon, phone icon image transparent, pretty much that. Let's open this in the next tab. Let's click it up right here. Let's try to save this. It really looks like an apple, but much more suitable for our project. Let me just select this as all file as phone icon dot png so it gets saved as png so now what we really need is to really change this uh, fav icon or favicon whatever you say uh, let me just kind of go to the png to fav icon online that is already typed by me so now what i'll really do is just go up right here drag and drop and download it so just really first open my uh, this project source folder. If I go to the desktop, where it is React Telephone Input. Open this uh, public. And now let me just open this first. Okay. No, we don't want. Let's copy this. Copy file clipboard. And then we will paste it up exactly up right here. Replace this, yeah, we want it. So, and if we try to refresh this, as you can see, it is a changed up right here. Now, what we really need to do is, as per this requirement, is you know, we need the manifest.json file. But if you come up right here, this is also a pretty decent one, but we kind of need more option as well because it has only a 64, uh, 32, 24 and 16 size as well. Uh, in the normal as well, it's really recommended to have 144 and 192 or two, up to the 512 as well, 512 pixel as well. So if you come up again back to the browser, let me just close everything up right here. And this one even. And if I say manifest JSON maker, okay and come up right here so if i say let's say like a uh, react telephone react tell pick okay we will give it as a short name as simmy 
any funny character name we will keep it as black okay and also this background color as black we will keep it as you know uh, there are a bunch of other mode as well so do you want a browser mode the browser mode essentially really means it will give you a url itself so if you really select the standalone as well if it will kind of give you a uh, feel like a, as if you are using a native app itself so we are kind of select this one we are select one of orientation anyway any so but in your case you might be want to select portrait or landscape but you should be also really cautious about if you select the portrait uh, the user of your app may be not able to enjoy the app in the landscape mode as well so we'll select this we'll keep it as default we'll go and drop drag and drop here and we'll generate a zip file it's going to give some error but let me try it again okay let's generate zip file sorry guys for abrupting you because this site doesn't really seem to work well i tried numerous time but it really failed but no problem there is another another way to figure it out what i'll really try to do is again go back to the twitter now what we'll really do is inspect element up right here hmm. and then we'll go up right here in application now what we'll see is like there are two icons majorly the first one is 192 and then second one is of 512 pixels so what we need to do is we need to resize the image two times let's say image resizer.com i've already done that previously so i'll go here in downloads pick this image and paste it up right here it doesn't really work well so i'll do it again <coughs> so what i'll do is 192 okay and then resize it now and then what i'll do is download this first and then again i'll go back okay and then what i'll do is 152 sorry uh, 512 and then do it again okay so now let me just resize it again download image okay go back again right here mm. I will say it as I'll rename it as icon dash 192 x 192 and then downward up right here we'll rename it as 512 x I mean by 512 okay and then icon icon could dash so it, it should work well so what I'll do so now copy this to control C go back to the project directory that is in the desktop right here public so what I'll do is uh, take up a new what I'll do is folder as image images what I'll do is go back in here again create a folder about icon okay and then within that we'll paste up right here now go uh, close this up go back again right here uh, you will see this is a by de facto that is done by the react now we'll just try to refresh this as you can see right here now we really don't want this because what is really happening is just we will really erase this up right here uh, and really just close up everything right here we go back here again We'll open this select up right here let's say react tell picker and then what we do is here simi okay and then what we'll do is let's say black okay and then standalone we'll leave it any and then we'll all copy this go back to here paste it exactly above right here okay then give it a comma okay and i think it should work well but one thing is left left right now that we need like say images slash icons slash icon dash 192 x 192 okay and then we'll just copy exactly same here 
we'll paste it up right here except for this we'll do it as 512 x 512 and then we'll try to open our browser up right here just close everything you don't need this okay and then what we'll do is okay we'll try to inspect it up let's open the application hmm. so what it really says is no matching service worker is found that means at least what we really want to uh, let's say this application is i mean this icon is working really well so now the only one step is remaining is to activate the service worker now it's pretty easy just go to the index.js now here is the register and register make it just register so what will it really tries to do is just it uh, brings the function from this file service worker.js uh, you can really see it has a bunch of caching mechanism that really works offline but but if you really want to do some crazy stuff you can also really try to customize but this is not in our scope so what we'll try to do is right now let's just try to go back right here close this up just don't need it now it's about to just building the app let's say npm run build it will take time so i'll just fast forward it okay so it has been really made up let's go back again right here so open this source folder let's go back up right here on this build folder you can see this server service worker js file now the last important part it comes of only deploying thing now for deployment as i really said you need an ssl thing so for that thing we'll just use netlify because it really provides free hosting and it has a built-in ssl so let's really like login okay so i'll just pick this up go back drop this build folder up right here okay so let's try to open this up so as you can see it has got this installable icon so that's what we really want let's try to inspect it up so in the application it has given nothing error which we were really seeing previously now let's try to do a lighthouse test okay and then let's try to generate a report okay so don't look guys don't look about this performance just look up to this uh, pa or uh, pw installable and we can really install this up right here so so for let me just guys give you the brief scenario of how it really looks okay so as you can see this is our standalone browser uh, let me just close this up first uh, yes yeah, it really looks horrible okay this is our icon and, and for android it really looks something exactly above as per right here so as you can see right now we are in my android phone as well so what i typically try to do is send a link from my pc to my phone uh, by google share link so as you can see it has really arrived right now i click it up it has been opened up i'm sorry it's not really mobile optimized but what i'll try to do is just wait for a while let's move it up and down and yeah as you can see it has showing me a banner to click it up whether you want to add so i'll just go add the browser and i'll pull the notification bar as you can see it's really adding up it will take some moments let's go back to home screen and app menu so as you can see there is an icon just like it feels a native app so what we we'll try to do we'll click it over it it gives a flash screen just like any other native app and this is our own built up mobile pw app itself so if you try to refresh as you can see there is no any some sort of uh, url bar so this was it guys what i really wanted to say if you have any question queries comments doubt or any some sort of suggestion please uh, leave down please just leave it into the comment box below and i'll be happy to get back to you till then stay connected stay subscribed and i see you next time